Okay, my name is Chris Schaefer with the Etna Air Company. Uh, we're going to do a follow-up video to the tank valve replacement, the rear tank valve replacement on uh, transport uh, tanks. On our previous video, we did the replacement. This video, we're going to do uh, how to to rebuild the valve. All right, so for the first thing, we're obviously we need safety glasses to perform this. Okay, right. so the first thing is just half inch impact, three eighths or three quarter inch socket, remove the nut for the handle. Next step would be to remove the handle from the valve stem. In order to do that, the best way I've found is to Start this nut back on here. And get a hammer. <laughs> and to remove this, all you do is smack this. This has a high temp Loctite on there. Uh, to put a puller on it, you'd have to put um, heat to this to get it to break loose. So the best thing to do is hammer, hold the valve out, and just smack that till the, ham the handle comes off. Ready. All right. So after removing the handle, however, you have to get it off. <laughs> uh, next step would be to, all you have to do is take this shaft and unscrew it, the top of the valve. The shaft and the rest of this is just junk, so you just toss it in the scrap tub. And then the next step was get your new valve. I like to put a little thread lock around that before you install it, or uh, sorry, anti-seize on that before you install it. But just as simple as shoving that through there and screwing it back down. Okay, next step, make sure this is back in place. Uh, some of these come welded on, others are just kind of floating in there. And when you put them in, it just, it's just a spacer for the uh, insulation. So it can be put anywhere, it doesn't have to be. At the end, you'll silicone this back in place around the jacketing. So that goes on there. Just throw your handle back on. Now before you throw your handle back on, you take this high temp, 272 Loctite and take that where the tapered end of the shaft is here that's where the handle is going to seat just take that put a couple drops on there spread it around and then you take your handle the handle's tapered so the tapered end is going to go on the shaft you just take a hammer, tap it back in place. And install your lock nut. This should come uh, new with the kit. So you reinstall the lock nut. So it's tight. Next step would be to take your torque wrench, set it to 88 foot pounds, and then torque the nut down until it, until it clicks. Then when you're done with all that, you just reinstall it back into the, the tank valve after cleaning up the old gasket off your faceplate here and on the tank. And reinstall it. And after it's uh, back on the truck, or the trailer, go ahead and stick the tank gauge, uh, shut the valve all the way and put the tank gauge indicator on there that the, shows that the tank is closed. Uh, the sticker's on the back of the trailer. 
As with any piece of equipment, please follow all the safety guidelines in the operations manual and wear the proper personal protection equipment required by your company or the state. We all want to return home safe every night, so be safe out there. You can contact your local dealer or the Etnire factory to talk to a professional service or parts representative at the information provided on the screen. Thank you and have a good day.